What's shaking everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Is Microsoft making an Xbox 1.5? Now, Phil Spencer's already said that this is not his plan. He didn't want to make a system and a half that uh, they, they wanted to kind of sit out the Xbox One and let it ride out uh, its, its own path versus trying to do any upgrades. I personally think that's BS. I think that Xbox has to upgrade if PlayStation 4 does. And it seems like Microsoft might be backtracking a little bit at this point. I'll drop a link in the description. Xbox boss backtracks on Xbox One and a half upgrade rumors. The about face is almost complete. Following earlier statements that Microsoft would come out with a new Xbox One hardware capability during a generation, Xbox chief Phil Spencer said that he's not keen on releasing an upgraded version of the console. His comments come despite strong rumors pointing to Sony unveiling a new upgraded version of the PlayStation 4 currently dubbed PS4K this October. Quote, I'm not a big fan of the Xbox One and a half. If we're going to move forward, I want to move forward in big numbers. I don't know anything about any of the PS4K rumors that are out there, but I can understand other teams' motivations to do that. For us, our Xbox is doing well, it performs, it's reliable, its servers are doing well. If we're going to go forward with anything like that, I want it to be really substantial change for people, an upgrade. Spencer's comments don't rule out Microsoft releasing an entirely new console a year or two down the line which is possibly what a substantial change would be. But they do indicate that the company isn't considering the rumored PS4K type of upgrade. Spencer also dismissed bolt on upgrades for the Xbox One on a recent Major Nelson podcast saying, quote, that's not our plan. Am I going to break open my console and start upgrading individual pieces of my console? That's not our plan. There is something special about what happens with a console. You buy an appliance-like device, you plug it into your TV, it works when you plug it in, it's not like I'm going to ship a screwdriver set with every console that comes out. What I'm saying is hardware innovations happen. We want to be able to embrace those in the console space and make those available and maybe not have to wait seven or eight years for things to happen." End quote. Despite Spencer's comments, it would be odd for Microsoft to let Sony release a new version of the PS4 without any sort of follow-up. There's already something of a performance gap, not to mention a sales gap between the Xbox One and the PS4. A PS4K would widen that gap, particularly if PlayStation VR takes off. Microsoft's own headset solution, the Augmented Reality HoloLens, is substantially more expensive. Multiple sources have said that Sony is working on a more powerful version of the PS4. Most recently, the Wall Street Journal reported that the PS4K would be announced shortly before the release of the PlayStation VR in October. It is also noted that Sony would not stop production of the original PS4 upon release of the new more powerful version, it is likely both consoles would share the same software catalog. Perhaps Microsoft is simply letting Sony take the risk with launching an upgraded console. After all, it's still unclear whether consumers will be comfortable with upgrading the console every few years in the same way they do with a mobile phone. If Sony's PS4K gamble pays off, expect Microsoft to follow suit, denials or not. I totally agree here. Uh, I think that Microsoft has to have some kind of plan. Um, if, if this PS4K is a success, which I think it probably will be, because it is a PS4. People love the PS4, it's a better version of the PS4, so everybody's going to want it. Now it's going to be early adopters initially, and people who are possibly on the fence about getting a PS4, who are going to jump ship and grab this thing. Also people who don't know much about VR, when they finally see it and experience it for the first time, they're going to want the PS4 that does VR the best. And I think that Microsoft definitely has something cooking, they have to. The Xbox One Super Slim is something that's rumored right now. I've seen pictures of it. It looks really nice. That may be their answer to the PS4K. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Is Phil Spencer lying? Is Microsoft working on a new Xbox One to combat the PS4K? Something that has a stronger GPU, CPU, 4K streaming capabilities? Let me know what you think below. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Show support for the channel. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Take a look.